I bought the whole game. Um, I, I went from the first part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what I said while I was going through the game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk. But first, I need to go to the toilet. So we're gonna delete this and then we're gonna start again. But I have to go to the toilet first, so I'll be back. guys I'm back uh, for you guys who are new to this channel I'm not gonna be one of those guys oh yeah you guys who are new to the channel drop subscribe like and comment cuz it, it, it depends if you like my content you subscribe if you don't like my content you don't like my content so you don't subscribe if you like my content you like my content if you did if you hate it then you put a dislike if you don't like it then i mean if you like it then you put a like so your your choice i don't care if you put a like uh so this um is like um thing and um, what's it called um walking dead so the choices that you make will affect the story and stories go different and there's tons of choices so yeah I'll shut up in cutscenes, so cutscenes I'll shut up or when they're talking. detail in this game is actually pretty neat not gonna lie I know I've watched the full game it's like two years old the old one I mean the new the newest one is like really good um and that is a massive tornado Famously called film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay Three i'm in class everything's cool yes. i'm okay from light to shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black i didn't fall asleep and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream Bueller. weird diane arbus there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I read and shit me. 
Minecraft heart. So this is your met so far, so I've met myself, yeah. Here's myself wait, does it did that say horny? Oh okay. That's the teacher, that, that's a girl who a story uh, something's gonna go about. This is the a bitch that we get paid back on later. And yeah, so You saw humanity is tortured, right? And frankly it's bullshit. I wanna take a selfie. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the <laughs> early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. I the can't believe American I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st years. century. But I like it old school. In your textbook, or even my online. little camera bag is back. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. So now Sorry, it's it time to explore. That printer is amazing. Explore, I mean. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Oh, I never discovered this last time. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. I don't think I can read that out. I'm getting kicked off it. Oh, fuck it. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOXOX Blackwell Academy. I hope I don't get taken over YouTube. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet Man, it's pristine it's, digital yeah. images. He's a body teacher. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Yeah, escort. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, 
The forest around here always looks mysterious. Mm, and that's where you'll be going in a later episode. But, sorry guys, I ain't ruining it. There's one way I think you play as this girl. I'm not going to mention her, but she's a lesbian. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Oh, uh, yeah, because you're on the countryside, you wanker. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, Shit. you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. What? I ain't understanding anything that guy say. All right, can I? You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was right. about to. I'm not you Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Right, I've got to sign her thing, because most of the people didn't sign her thing. So, and you got, you got to talk to people. They're bullies. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. <laughs> I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. So I'm just walking. Oh, shut up, mate. I heard that. Alright, come, let's walk, yeah? Let's go say hi to everyone. All right, so who should I talk to? Uh, yo, do you want to talk to me, Courtney? I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Oh, hey, Taylor. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. Oh, I want to go this way. No, open the door. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. Hurry up, open the door, open. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Yeah, you're supposed to Evan talk to everyone. To me, but his photos are very cool. You need to like literally talk to everyone, otherwise, like, oh, what's in it? I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as yeah, I've got to look at everything. I gotta explore the game. Um, yes, this poster must stop always dead in the Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I can't really talk to anyone, but that's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Eba. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Okay, who's he? I've uh -huh. seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I wish October would last forever. I cry sometimes, walking around. It looks like she's been gone for months. Oh! I think we end up finding her. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there. Right, here she is, yeah. I gotta sign her shit. Yo! Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Your fight! Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. 
I hate these posters. So sad. Right. I gotta check everything around here. The Bigfoot Stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Ooh. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But the otters are cute. Go. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. American girls, it's sad to imagine a world. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Right, so let's explore the bloody thing. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> I remember when somebody pumped the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that course. I hate Victoria Chase. Mm, good. This poster must drive people to have sex. Kate twerks for God. <laughs> Wait, you can still love and learn without sex. I'm good to flow, thanks. Ooh, they have a tampon machine. What does that say? Vortex Club are jerks. Don't sound like it. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Yo, look at me, I'm a king. I'm a woman with a mustache. Yes, look at me. I'm beautiful. You hardly splash any water. You just kiss your hand. Just uh, relax. I need Stop to... torturing yourself. You have a gift. The gift. I need to shut my window. It's getting Fuck really it. hot. Actually, I'll keep that. What's happened? When a door closes, a window opens. No, that's not true. Or something like that. Because my door's closed and the window didn't open. Hey, I opened my like window. He says, shut up. What is that? Is that a butterfly? Oh, I like butterflies. What is it? Oh, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. It's blue. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Oh, the butterfly. Oh, there's someone in the girl's bathroom, man. Get out. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. One. Don't be scared. You Gavin. own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Oh, so he's a terrorist. So what do you want? And then... I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who Ooh, you're messing around shit. with. Shit! What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! How 
how did they not hear that shot and see him walk in? What the Whoa. fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh look, she copied me. How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Oh, I can reverse time. I want my camera again. I did uh -oh. it. Can you I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller. Max, don't yeah, freak yeah, out. Yeah. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. When I took Why my I selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Ah oh, shit! Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows this? Jefferson wants to keep me after why, class. Why? Why she keep copying me? I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp, reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, shoot you got there. Yeah. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? But now I'm gonna be sat here all day. Oh look, I can hold down that. No, uh, Max, since you've captured our in I'll skip that. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave us redefined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far ahead of everyone. <laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. Oh, just exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor. Oh, I'm gonna high. skip. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Wait, Max, I'm gonna see. You're not crazy. Oh. You're not dreaming. It's time to be in every day. Oh, you just went for the blow, bitch. Run, run. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography. Oh, yeah, she won't. I'm not avoiding, just. Biding time? Waiting for the. Elusive right moment. Oh, exactly. Dude. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens oh, while you're busy God making sake. other plans. Go on. Don't let me stop you. All right. Pr wait. Press L1 to. Go oh shit. Was that Chinese? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Even if you're submitting. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photog- I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. 
Um, can I? Uh, let me go now. All right, just let me zoom out the door. All right. You dare speak? I hope uh, I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, but, uh, please. I can't tell anybody. Uh, Don't think I'm crazy. No, I don't know where he is. But the okay, oh. Max, retrace every step. Uh -huh. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I'm too scared to get near this psycho. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody I need a hammer to break it open. Missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from so. Shut up. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No, 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 no! I just wanted to see what you would do. Going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Right, I remember I shouldn't report him because I'll get really... You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. Right. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yeah, well, that's why I guess good. I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Well, I'll tell you the truth. This is becomes consequences. I just saw well. Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. 
and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Carter. Yeah, this guy's a wanker. Of course this Fucking academic wanker. drone won't do anything since the yeah. Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Faggots, you wanker. I ain't changing shit, he's a wanker. I'm not saying on that. Can my dad be okay? You guys are retarded. Please go ahead and kill me. Please find me a BF4 prom. Oh, uh, how am I? How am I speaking for a book? I okay, them. I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Oh, no, no, it takes about an hour. All right, Justin, yo. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. I just Come said that, yo, Justin. Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Oh, you fucking! We're done talking. You're too sketchy. Oh, I never call me that again yet, cause watch blood. I rushed him. Check out the max. Come to thrash. I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick! You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, oh, oh. Why did I take a photo? I just got an achievement. Oh, what was that? Take optional photo hashtag free. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so I have optional photos of things. Okay. Hey. I'm stoked to see those photos framed and shit. You don't really escape Betty though. <laughs> Not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board too. Rachel and Amber and her punk friends love skating with us. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Oh, Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. You can watch us destroy these rails. Alright, so that, that I made a new friend. Who are you? 
You faggot. Alright. Oh, let me steal some coins. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. What to get out of the school? Where's... Yo, still on my. Still on my. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Yeah. Isn't he incredible? No. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. Ooh. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Ooh, Victoria is them. pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. The fuck? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my they, kind of click. They ain't cool. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. No fight it, man. Bang on blood. I'll bang on. I'll slap them up. Who's this, mate? This old faggot. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. So I'm talking with that bitch. Where are you? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mate, if I was in a dorm, I'd be getting my That's PlayStation Hardcore Gaming. I love how it captures the moment. Oh, God, not this guy. This guy's a bit weird. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real news. Rachel Amber. Oh! You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. No oh, shit. Hope she's okay. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way. You're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Uh, oh, you gonna do it? Mate, this guy's using a pen Good. to draw and he's Good. coming out as pencil. Oh, well, that makes sense, you know. Good, good. Oh, yo, can I on board? portrait ever. No, I can draw better than that. Yo, let me just go get a pen. Actually, I can't be bothered, mate. Yo, I'm, I'm getting freezing now. I'm closing my window. Oh, what's going on? What's, what's on the screen? This action will have consequence. What? What have I done bad? It's not me doing something bad happen. What have I done? I, th I was talking to the fat kid. Yo, hey. What, what have you in it? Oh, yo, can I look at this bitch? Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. <laughs> Evan. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Uh... That guy. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Well, I guess you're right. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. 
Man, you're a weirdo. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Why did you take a bit of Peter Foreman? Ah, oh, that's crap. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. No, of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Oh, wankle, mate. Bash your head in. Oh, hey, man, don't walk into me. I'll bash your two front teeth in your wankle. Clever. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. I mean, not not shit gonna happen, mate. I'm glad you told me that, Max. Let's talk later. Cool? Oh, man, tons of friends, yeah? Man, I'm popular. Look at it. Why aren't they popping up? Oh, I guess these guys are important then. I don't know why these two are important, because don't, they don't come in. Neither does the principal. You're vote the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. Shut your wank or with your baldy ass head, mate. Oh, yeah, go, go. Oh, I just yawned. I oh, know. Come on, Logan, bring it. What the fuck is that accent? Yeah. Sure. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh, shush! The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Huh. Oh, oh my, I accidentally skipped back. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. No, bro! Shut your mouth, bro! Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Oh, shit, you got your tool. I never knew she was. Oh, I look at this. Glad to see campus is eco friendly. Oh, I've been, yes. Yo, I want to talk to you, bruh. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. Shit, I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything. Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Manu, Wanko, Manu, Samuel. Samuel. Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? But only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, like a clock. <laughs> what was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery, positive and negative. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. After I sweep, that guy is strong. He's you're not. Is that you're not even sweeping, eh? Nice, bro. 
Yo! Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> oh, really, bitch? Since oh. you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Understand English? Get lost. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. You okay? Oh, you okay? Way too close. Okay, let's see if this works. Why am I hiding? Pain is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. All right, Mom. Hurry, Courtney. Vic 
Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. A hippie. Oh shit. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Consequences, man. Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Okay, I'll go get it. Oh, my mum sent me a message. Oh, shh. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Well, the f I know what I'm doing, so. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Right, I'm gonna go talk to her. Answer me what? Ah. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh, I was it was Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria, huh? She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her That's boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How the fuck do I print it? This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. This episode's so bloody long. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Actually, all of these episodes are long. They're like two hours long. Oh, it depends what you're doing on that show. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Hi, you bitch. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. 
But I could rewind and make it up to her. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... That be Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Hmm. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Thanks again. Let's talk later. Thanks again. Let's talk later. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm?
So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. What she have now? felt like an everyday hero yeah. helping Kate. David is a dickhead. Well, I was gonna say. <sighs> Man, I, I think I'm just gonna do this whole episode in, in one part. The way it's going. <sighs> or should I leave her a cliffhanger? First of all, have I even hit an hour? I bet, I've, I've, I bet I'm on like 42 minutes or something like that. Oh shit, I'm actually on an hour. Alright, I'll, I'll end it when my controller dies. When my controller's about to die. Right, so I could draw a dick on, the a, dick on a car or something. On a dirty car. Or some... I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand uh -oh. to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria- Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. <sighs> Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Oh, I'm on way over there. I, I just need to go take a picture of this caravan. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes cleanly on it. Oh, so that's what I could do. Oh, of course it will. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Well, I just got another achievement. Oh yeah, take a random phone. A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. Come on over here, please. No. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. <laughs> He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Daniel posted it online already? That was nice. Congrats. You're part of his online portrait posse. Don't be jealous. I'm sure he'll ask you soon. Oh, you're a wit, Max. It's the company I keep, Warren. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? What the fuck? 
No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! Anything to say, huh? What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? <sighs> I guess. It was cool, but... I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. Mm -hmm. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. <gasps> At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on me when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. 
I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it at my place i need very specific tiny tools bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Oh, go really tired, man. Oh, I shouldn't have done this all early. looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. <gasps> but you had Rachel. <gasps> Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. I'm gonna mute on mic because I'm yawning like mad. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. Fucking hell! Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her Kidnapped! Son? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel gone. Can you put on some music now?
Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. cannot see anything. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I don't come to go through all this stuff. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. This is the Chloe I remember, always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Joy still works at Two Wheels Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Brr. I can feel Autumn pushing out the supper. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. He died when I was born. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? 
Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Shit, man, I just fell asleep. Oh my god. I, I literally just sat on my bed and fell asleep. Oh shit. Oh my god, man, I'm happy that time. I just fell asleep on stream. I think I've done that before. Oh no. Oh. I swear there was like a bird that you could help. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Mm. This is the interesting part. Shit! Butterfingers! <gasps> Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. This guy, he's security, this guy, yeah? We're in his house, yeah? He's got- I don't want to look at these creepy photos again. He's got fired- Why does David on. have them? He got fired of the girl who got bullied. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, there we go, cleaned up the evidence. All right. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. <gasps> what the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Let's see if it goes to our room. No, it don't. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. He's setting up somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead.
Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Yeah, I tried to, but you won't let me. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back up. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! Yes, score. Oh, oh do, uh, yo, this episode's got like 10, 20 minutes left. Man, I just keep falling asleep. Nope, someone locked it from the other side. You found the tools, sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? <gasps> I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. 
But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> this day couldn't get any stranger. Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Why so cool, hippie? Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. What's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? Now, please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around. Chloe, open this door. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? No way. It's not mine. Oh, of course not. I'm sure Chloe gets all the best shit, right? I'm sure she gave you good friend rates. Why don't you get off my crack? Stop taking your war rage out on high school girls. You have seen rage, you little- Fuck you, pig! I- Listen. You asked for that. You know exactly what you're doing. I can already tell from today that you're trouble, Max. I hope this doesn't affect your status at Blackwell. Don't ever come back here. Listen, dipshit, if you ever lay a hand on me again, I'll have your ass in jail. Then you can guard yourself all night. You're the ones who'll end up in jail. Oh, you only think you're tough and clever. This too shall pass. And clean this pigsty up. I'm sorry, Chloe. I didn't know what to do. Whatever. Everybody bails on me. Even my best friend, Max. Don't you? So done with everybody in this town. I wish I hadn't even seen you. As if you care. Color me out of here. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. 
What if I had stepped up to help? I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit. Wait. Can I hide out the window? Hot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this pickle. Oh, no, 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 quick. I want to see if I can hide. Man, that did not go well for me. I want to see if I, I can hide. If I want hide. to keep my Black Bull scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Oh, shit. Chloe. I'm coming! What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! This is Give going nowhere minute. fast. I better look someplace else. Now. Please. One second! My bra is stuck! You can hide a joint, but not the smell. Forget it. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit! One of my guns is missing. Hot. It's from Max. Is this true? Dr There's about five minutes left. I mean, ten. Right. First up, how long have I been inside for? I'm just gonna go sleep after this. Right. I would do another, another episode. I might just do this in parts. I mean, each episode, each time. Or I might replay it and then, like, do all the decisions again. See how I can change up the story a little bit. Isn't this awesome, Sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, Slowpoke! <laughs> Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. How long has that been here? 
Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah, I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Well, how much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he... Dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. 
He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. This is what t tells you the, happening to me? the purpose of our powers. Can you stop talking every time I go to talk, please? Yeah, the purpose of our powers is what it tells you here. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. I died. Straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. We just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I played quality on hardcore mode. Class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. 
Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. I think it goes through everyone I've met so far. I haven't met her. So guys, right, you reported Nathan, 65% did that, made for Victoria, okay, more people confronted her, you interfered with Kate, okay, um, you took, you came out of hiding to intervene, how do you, I don't know how you hide. 2% blame Chloe. Alright, what's my friend status? Oh no, no. Uh, friend status. 100%. Wait, my mate has this game. Wait, who helps? YT Bradley is the best. Oh. Well, we both made that. He done that one, I done that one. 50-50. Then well, we didn't know how to hide. Um, then we go on to the next page. Um, hello. I'm so tired. You let, you let, you've let the bird die. Yeah, I tried to find the bird. Oh no, I forgot to touch Victoria's um, photos and put a middle finger. Alright, so my dudes, that's, uh, this is a bit cooler the next bit. That really hurt my ears. So that's called Out of Time, and, yeah, so... I literally am just about to end, it, end the film. Um, oh, that's my email. Oh no, I didn't show my email. 
all right so yo guys uh i'm gonna stream that and uh see dudes tomorrow so we'll probably i'll probably just go through the whole uh episode two tomorrow so it'll be the title will change to episode two part one i might just do it in full episode well yeah well peace everyone if I end this stream short, the show is gay.